Using the symbols delta minus and delta plus indicate the direction of polarity, if any, in each covalent bond. In order for us to do that, we have to have electronegativity values, which I have put down here so we can use them. And we have to understand what does delta minus and delta plus mean. This means partially negative charge and this means partially positive charge. If two atoms share their electrons on equally where one atom pulls on the electron stronger than the other it will make the bond polar and so the one that is, has a stronger electronegativity value will pull on the electrons more and it will have partially negative charge because negative electrons will be closer to it and the other one will be partially positive so let's go ahead and check c and cl i have carbon here which is 2.5 and I have let's see where we have Cl here which is 3. Who is more electronegative carbon or chlorine? Chlorine is more electronegative so it's going to pull the electron stronger to itself so it will have a partially negative charge and carbon must have a partially positive charge. Now let's look at S and H. Hydrogen where is it? Right here, 2.1, and sulfur, 2.5. Who has a bigger electronegativity? Sulfur. Sulfur is more electronegative, so it will have a partially negative charge, and hydrogen must be partially positive. Now, carbon and sulfur. Carbon is 2.5, and sulfur is 2.5 also. Since they have the same electronegativity, neither one of them is pulling stronger. They're sharing their electrons equally. So we will not show delta negative and delta plus because this bond is nonpolar. They're equally sharing their electrons. And finally, let's look at P and H. Hydrogen is 2.1 and phosphorus is 2.1 as well. What does it mean? That means we will not show the partially negative and partially positive charge because these two elements have the same electronegativity and they share their electrons equally. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you enjoyed this video.